Hello friends, in this video, I'm going to show you how to design this Confluent Park Pavilion in the SketchUp. So let's get started. For the first step, create this pentagon shape. Uh, I have already put a dimension for you. Please this, uh, use this dimension to make this sketch. Okay, now let's uh, hide all these dimension and construction line. Okay, now let's create some sketch or line by offset in this face. First offset, this about 1 inch. You can offset any more you want and delete this face. Okay, let's offset to our 3 more uh, edge and offset this. I'm going to use freehand technique to offset this. Uh, click right here. And let's offset one more uh, face and click here and offset about halfway of this line. So let's offset one more sketch and uh, let's offset uh, right about here. Okay, now let's create a line from corner to corner. And now we need to create some line from midpoint to midpoint. Now let's create some uh, reference line uh, by offsetting this diagonal line. I uh, use the offset tool from the GHS power bar and click uh, right on this edge and offset about one inch. You can offset any more you want and offset this line too. Okay, now let's draw some line from this point, uh, which is parallel to the diagonal line. And delete this to edges. And create two more lines, which is parallel to the diagonal line one more time. Okay, now we need to uh, delete these edges. And now we need to delete the face too. So select and delete it. Okay, let's delete these edges and face too. Okay, we need to do the same to all diagonal line. So do it yourself. Okay, I have deleted all the faces and edges from the corner. Let's select all these faces and edges, uh, not the outside one. And let's create a group from this. Okay, now let's uh, get into this groove. And use a vertex tool. And let's select these vertex, uh, not the vertex from the center. And select this all. Uh, don't forget to press shift or control to set this. And now let's move this all vertex in the opposite z direction. Okay, let's move it about 22 feet. Okay, now we need to select the vertex between this corner. And uh, select all these. Okay, now let's move it, uh, it in the negative Z direction. I mean in the downward direction. Okay, you can move any distance you want. Uh, I'm suggest you should uh, use a external reference to do this. Okay, let's uh, select this uh, corner. Adjust. Okay, now let's move this uh, over just a little bit. Uh, I just want to create incline. Okay, look good. Now let's uh, select this and use the sub tool to smooth the model. Uh, if you increase the smoothness, let's click on this green button. Uh, let's click one more time. Okay, I think I need to do it one more time. Okay, now let's uh, create a scene. Now select the model one more time and let's up the subdivide effect because we need to adjust the vertex. Okay, and get into this groove. Uh, 
and use the vertex tool one more time and select this middle vertex and all these five vertex okay now we need to uh, move it down in the z direction uh, just move it a little bit uh, we need to adjust all the control point to get the desired result. I recommend you should uh, use a uh, standard reference to get it all to get the desired result. I recommend you use the uh, standard reference to adjust this uh, for the better result. Okay, let's move just a little bit downward direction. Okay, this much better. Okay, now select these uh, top vertex. And this one. And this one too. Okay, let's uh, move it in the Z direction just a little bit. Okay, now let's uh, click on the Subdivide sort of tool. Okay, this is much better now. And don't forget to use the standard reference to see the desired result. Okay, let's get into the groove. And use the vertex to one more time and select these all five vertex one more time. Okay, we need to scale it down uh, to the inward direction. Okay, it's better we should do from the top view. Okay, let's uh, go to the top view. Okay, now let's uh, move it in the inward direction. I mean, scale it down. Now we need to create some thickness from this surface. So get into this groove and select this surface. I'm going to use join push pull tool to create thickness from this surface. So let's open the Fredo join push pull. Okay, now let's uh, click on this uh, third icon. And you can uh, put any offset distance. And I'm going to uh, put 3 inch and click OK. If you satisfy the result, you can click one more time. Okay, we got the thickness we want. Uh, we have to do uh, for the rest of the surface. So do it yourself. And now let's copy this model by mirroring it and rotating it. Okay, let's put it in the X-ray mode. Okay, uh, to mirror this, uh, we are going to use JJS Baba. Okay, now uh, select on mirror icon and click on this point and second point will be here and the third point will be in the Z direction. Okay, let's go to the top view one more time. And uh, select this, uh, we are going to rotate it. And we need to copy this too. So don't forget to press Ctrl while you rotate in it. Okay, now let's uh, rotate and copy one more time. Now let's learn this one. 
uh, we need to uh, mirror this so let's use the mirror to from the GHS bar first point will be here second point will be here and the third point will be in the Z direction and click here Okay, now select this uh, model and we need to up the subdivide fan. Click here. Okay, now right click on it and make unit and get into this groove. Uh, we need to delete some of the parts. So get into this component and select this phases and delete it. And this one too and this one. Okay, let's get into this component one more time. Oops, we need to make it unit. So right click and make unit and delete this part. Okay, we need to mirror some part of this component. So let's get into this group one more time. Slide this phases and let's mirror it. First one will be here, second one will be here, that one will be in the Z direction. Okay, now we need to mirror this one. Slide this and mirror it. Okay, now let's get into another component. Uh, we need to make it unit first. Right click, sorry, right click and choose make unit. Okay, and select this. We need to mirror this. Okay, for the last step, get into this uh, component. We need to mirror this section and mirror it. Okay, now let's get into this group. Uh, we need to mirror this section. So select it and mirror it. Uh, use the same tool from the GHS power bar. First one here, second one here, and that one will be in the Z direction. Okay, now it's look better. Now select all these and open the subdivide. Okay, look like I need to create thickness from these surfaces one more time. Anyway, let's do it. Okay, now let's open the joint push pull toolbar and select this groove. And let's click on the third icon and put the thickness any amount you want. And now you have to do uh, this to all the groove. Please do it yourself. I have already shown how to do it. As you can see, I have put the thickness to all the services. I hope you have done the same. And you have to put the proper amount of thickness to all the services. Uh, in my case, uh, the thickness are too small. So be careful with it. And now create this 2D sketch for the landscape design. Uh, this is uh, exactly like in the real wall. Uh, let me enhance it. Okay, you can place this uh, in the model all over the floor plan. I have already done it. Uh, this is my landscape design, which is exactly like the real wall. Okay, now uh, let's, uh, let me hide the model. And you can place uh, any grass around the model. Uh, it's up to you. Please do it yourself. Now, if you want to create a separate cover roof stretcher, you can copy one of these. Let's copy it and move it uh, at a uh, different place. 
uh, just uh, move it right here okay now we need to delete some of the component of faces let's select and click on subdivide effect and you need to make it unit 2 okay now let's uh, delete some of the faces delete this one and delete this one too of course we can modify this uh, loop stretcher if you want to let's modify it okay now let's get into this group and let's uh, select these uh, edges from the base and move it uh, just over a little bit okay now let's move the other side too you can put any amount of distance you want it is up to you okay now let's uh, uh, put the subdivide effect select and click on the subdivide tool okay now we have to uh, create the thickness on this surface so let's use join push pull and put the thickness any more you want Okay, that's all guys. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe my channel.